Okay, so we're gonna look at number nine. Michelle likes chocolate, but it causes acne. She chooses to limit herself to three chocolate bars every five days. So she eats part of a bar each day in the same amount. So what I'm gonna do is make a table. So if we have the day, and then I'm gonna put C, B for chocolate bars. On day zero to start, she starts with uh, three chocolate bars. And then we have day one, we don't know. Day two, we don't know. Three, four, and five. So on day five, she's down to zero chocolate bars. And we have to figure out, well, what's that counting by? So what we can do is use our idea of slope uh, to figure out, well, what is that consistent amount? So if you remember for slope, n equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, or in this case, the y counts here, so zero minus three, over we would have five minus zero. So we have negative three over five. And negative three over five is minus 0.6. So what we do is we start at three and then we subtract 0.6. So to model that, let's just double check to make sure. Three minus 0 0.6, 2.4. 2.4 minus 0 0.6, 1.8. 1.8 minus 0 0.6, 1.2, 1.2 minus 0 0.6, and that does work, 0 0.6. So this is an arithmetic series. To get my recursive formula, we would just say a sub zero. At the start, she has three candy bars. And then a sub n equals a sub n minus one, and then we're eating 0.6 of a candy bar, so minus 0.6. Now my explicit equation, if I start at the zero term, is y equals a sub zero plus dn. So a sub zero here is three, so y equals three plus 0.6 times n.